Hello, so this is another energy update for the the twins. Just a minute. I just noticed how ashy my hands looked, so get me some of this coconut oil. I like using natural ingredients. Anyways, <laughs> I should have paused that, but anyways, here we go. So, for the twin flames, so, the overall energy right now, it, it does look like um, there's an end of a struggle, end of the cycle coming to a close. Um, you and your divine partner, your counterpart, has went through this transition. Um, we do have the star card here, and this is the... Um, Trippin', Trippin' Weight Tarot. So this is a star card. And of course you see, you know, this is Aquarius energy. Doesn't mean that um, you may have Aquarius in your chart somewhere, but it doesn't mean you have to. Mostly the message in this is about the transference of energy, the merging of energy, the combining and with the masculine, the feminine, and the universe, universe's source energy, all combining into the power of three. And I'm seeing, I'm just seeing that in my head, the three. So, of course, this is the number 17, but still I'm seeing in my head the power of three, you know, the masculine, the feminine, and the divine all coming into union, all working, doing their work and their healing. Um, coming into a positive, of course, it's clarified by soulmate and positive transition. So again, that those energies merging and coming together and um, creating this possibility for these cycles to shift. So those of you, you may recently have felt a shift. You may be going through the shift right now, but do know that it's coming to a close. And when it does, it's going to be more peaceful type of surrendering type of energy. Because we do have the the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten is always the end of a cycle. It's closing out. You've had all this anxiety, all this stress, you and your par partner, because remember, y'all mirror each other. And, and for some of you, it's felt like a, a death. It's felt like grief and death, but it is the end of the cycle. The lessons you need to learn in all this, you have learned them. You have uh, mastered them, and it's time for you to start this new level. Um, but you will be taking a pause. So we have the eight of swords clarified by pausing to reflect. So there's going to be a little bit of time in between this cycle ending and reunion. Y'all coming back together. Now do remember lots of times with twin flames, you go into union, into separation, into union, into separation. And it does this because you're going through different cycles, different learning lessons, different, you know, evolving together. So, but before this reunion comes in, there's going to be a moment of quietness, of stillness, you know, of just taking time in for yourself. Yes, I do know that the Eight of Swords usually stands for self-imposed um, restrictions, feeling that's the feeling of in, being imprisoned. But with it clarified by pausing to reflect, it's just that you are making that choice to take a pause, to take a breather. Um, you may, for some of you, may even resonate with feeling like um, walking away from this connection. But that's a brief feeling that you're feeling that energy of possibly, um, you know, that self-entrapment, like you're keeping yourself too busy. Um, you're, you know, creating a lot of stuff. It's you're purposely keeping your mind busy and entrapped with mundane tasks. So you're not overwhelmed. You don't want to go back to being, feeling overwhelmed with this connection. But with you taking that little breather and ending this cycle, do know that you are coming back into union. You will have reunion because we have judgment. So here it is, you know, divine is calling you into, you know, I'm, I'm here in Archangel Raphael is going to be pulling your heartstrings. 
you know, we have is clarified by a new or revived relationship. So, yeah, I'm just hearing um, in my head, head Archangel Raphael, um, opening your heart chakra. So you just, you had to work these and maybe during the process you closed your heart chakra a little bit and maybe acted in your um, logical space so that way you can take your breather and not be so stressed and overwhelmed and obsessed with this connection. So let me get these out of the way and I'm going to pull some cards on the Divine Masculine to see where he's at at this time. I've chosen today to use the Fountain Tarot to represent the Divine Masculine. So, what is going on with the Masculine? cards. I'm not taking all those. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the hanged man. And this is over five of coins. Oh, look at you, Divine Feminine. You have made your masculine stop and think. All of a sudden, I got that song lyric in my head by MC Hammer. Stop. It's Hammer time. <laughs> I don't know why. That's so funny. That's so old. Anyways, so it's like, you kind of left him out in the cold. It's that, that sense of... The Divine Feminine taking that mental break, coming out of her heart space into her logical space of, I really don't want to deal with this anymore. I really just want to, I want to breathe her. I'm tired of all this. You know, a lot of the Divine Feminines, a lot of those in um, Divine Connections, we've had this last um, learning cycle was really difficult. It was really a lot of triggers, a lot of things to heal and a lot of things to learn. And... At the end of the cycle, it's like, <sighs> I can take a deep breath, and I just, I don't want to deal with anything right now. You just need some, it's like you need some R&R, &R. and it, with you kind of stepping away, the masculine felt, has felt the feminine pull her energy away, um, where she was give, 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 you know, all of a sudden now that love and that light, because your love and light can be filled by your divine masculine. And now that you've pulled it away, he's feeling cold. He feels that coldness and it's making him take another look. He's taking that look and he's looking from a different perspective and he's like, okay, wait, there's something wrong here. We have the tower. It's caused a tower moment with your masculine. You know, tower moments are those forced changes. Those making, forcing us to see, look at things and examine situations. The knight of swords. The, the desire to rush in, to come in, to come running. Full steam ahead. Temperance. That is the... Um, <clears throat> That's the energies coming into balance. The masculine and the feminine energies within the masculine coming into balance. It also talks about patience being tempered. So he wants to, to rush in, but he's being tempered, you know, and he's being tempered by the two of coins. So this is like um, two of coins has to do with juggling and balancing. But what I'm sensing is um, he's being tempered. You know, he's had this tower moment. Him, he's felt your energy leave him, the feminines, and this causes him to automatically want to rush back in. And but he's holding back, and the reason why he's holding back is because he's still, you know, he's still unsure. Should I? Should I not? You know, it's kind of that sense of tossing the coin and trying. It's like he's in that space where 
he's he wants to rush in, but he doesn't really know what he wants to say. And it's kind of a toss-up, right? We have the Six of Swords. But what he does know is he wants things to move in a more positive direction. But he doesn't know how that's going to happen. It's like he knows the Divine Feminine. He knows she wants victory with her masculine. He knows that she wants things to move in a calmer, calmer, more peaceful transition. And she wants union with her masculine. He knows all these, but he doesn't really know how he can do that for her. He doesn't know how he can offer it. The lovers. But he knows that he wants to offer it. He doesn't know how he could do this for her. For them. But he knows he wants it. He wants it just as bad as she does. So, let's look and see what, um, pull some of these, yeah, some of these, uh, I, I just love these cards. I'm getting to where I want to use them all the time. <laughs> it's the Twin Flame Hunger Vampire Edition by Fire Witch Tarot. So let's kind of look and see what is going on in his head, his headspace about his divine feminine. You see he's got mixed emotions, but if, if you know, what does he got going on in him, with him, divine masculine? bottom of the deck is I am always watching you. So he may be, if you have a social media, if you have a YouTube, if you, whatever it is, he's always looking at your social media, even if you don't know it. Um, he may have a fake name, fake username, but he's watching. Um, even when he doesn't make himself known. We have hide and seek, come look for me, come chase me. Is that where he's sensed that you've pulled your energy back? And he's looking, he's watching, he's waiting. He's wanting you. He's wanting that energy to come back towards him and chase him. Where you was chasing him in the past and you've halted, he feels it. He's like, wait, where'd my tail go? Where'd she go? The time is near. Communication, union, or separation. Yeah, they know that it is time to come into union. Whatever that means for the feminine and the masculine in this connection and your connection, they know it's time. It's time to, time to communicate that they want that desire as well, however they see it. You know, what it's time to communicate what their idea of union is and where they want the direction of this connection to go. Looky there, guided union. You are being divinely guided and so is this masculine and this energy to come into union. We have, don't turn your back on me. He definitely, he, he senses and misses your presence and he definitely wants to get that back. So... Let me, I'm going to pull some of these enchanted love tarots just to see where his heart space is. And my whole pile of cards is about to fall off. Okay. Because guess what? These cards were on the bottom of the pile. <laughs> Go figure, right? So... So we see where his mind is. Where is the heart space for the masculines in this energy? Where's their heart space? How do they feel for their feminine? How do they truly feel for their feminine?
Okay. Okay. All these cards. Well, they're filling a whole bunch right now. So, bottom of the deck is the Three of Gems. So, they feel like, in their hearts, they, they feel like this is their true partner. Someone they work well together with. They can, they see things eye to eye. They feel like this, you know, she is the person that uh, would be the right partner for them. We have Five of Shells. Seven of Roses. The Chariot. Seven of Gems. Prince of Wings. Ace of Gems. <laughs> so, in their heart space, they're, yeah, we, we have the five of shells clarified by the seven of gems. So, it, it's that sense of, you know, they realize they're disappointed. They're frustrated. They um, are disappointed in themselves. They knew they really wanted this. But there was him hawing around, and now look where it got them. Um, so they're really wanting, again, that sense of wanting to charge in. We have that Prince of Wings, which is the Prince of, um, this Prince of Swords. So he's really wanting to rush in. And he's trying to build up his courage to do so. You know, he is determined to move this forward and, um, to help those seeds that's been planted to grow to grow into something more prosperous. We have the number 11, which is a union number, meaning, you know, it's the justice card. They want to rush in and tell you their truth. You know, they want to tell you how they really feel, what they really want. What they feel is this overflowing love. They have a deep romantic love for you and an appreciation for you. We have the King of Gems, King of Pentacles. They they know that you are the most abundant um, person in their life, in their heart. You are the person y'all have built this foundation, and in true in their truth, when they stand in their truth, and they actually acknowledge their truth. Their heart, their mind, and their heart both want union. They want this overflowing love between you. So let's get these out of the way. And I'm going to pull some cards for the feminine. So for the feminine, I'm going to use the Tarot de la Newt deck. So what is going on with the feminines on this twin flame journey? The ones that, you know, twin flames come in different flames, different... Um, Activations. They're all there's different ones in different um, waves, is what they call them. I wanted to say levels, but it's waves. So what is going on with the feminine in this wave? What's going on with the feminine in this group? We did we did see earlier that they have pulled their energy back. And and it's funny because the divine feminines, they've been working their masculine energy all this time with the active 
you know, the chasing, the pushing for the, uh, the connection, the trying, keeping it, that flame lit and keeping it going to where now they're, they've actually shifted. And it's this huge shift, this huge change of the divine feminines actually stepping into their divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I'm sorry, stepping into their divine feminine energy and actually being more receptive and it's like it's time for this masculine to step into his actual divine masculine energy and um, bottom of the deck is the nine of cups so she knows what she wants she she's standing in her knowledge of what she wants she knows what she wants she knows she deserves it and that's all the hell there is to it <laughs> so we have the seven of pentacles the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups, Angel de la Nute, which is specific for this deck, the Wheel, and the Hanged Man. Okay. So, what's going on with the feminine? Well, first of all, she's standing in her power. Um, so, she put all this work into this connection. Um, she, she, it's like she had to multitask and do a lot of stuff. Um, she may have had a family. Some of y'all may have been um, single mothers and had to work and come home, take care of the kids. And, you know, and still you, you manage to carry love and light for your masculine. Um, some of you may have had many jobs, many roles that you do. You may have worked a day job and then came home and did some kind of job on your own. And, you know, you put all this work and time into not only your connection, but also into yourself. And, and you know that you want, you know, you know this person is your, your twin flame. You know, the, the feminine knows the masculine is her twin flame. But at some point, there comes a point where she's going to have to be honest and real with herself. And it's like she's reached that point where she's actually said, okay, let me take off the rose colored glasses and say things for what they really are. Because... I'm not being, my love tank isn't being filled is what she's saying. She's saying, I'm not being filled. He's not, you know, he's not giving equal give and take. You know, um, I really, I know what I want in this connection. I know where I want it to go. And he's not willing to compromise on that. He's just very adamant that, that, you know, he's just not doing it. Um, but that, that is coming to an end because we have the angel de la Nut. So she's gone through some darkness. I was trying to make it to where that light didn't show up so much, but I caught my light on fire. So <laughs> this is what we get. <laughs> but, um, so the angel de la Nut is telling me that, um, she's gone through th this transition, this learning cycle, and she's realizing what her worth is and what her value is. And she's starting to see, you know, her, herself as this divine, um, sovereign being that she is. She's stepping into her destiny. She's stepping into her role. And just like she knows her destiny, she knows her value and she knows that she deserves union. And this is what she wants. And at this point, you know, we have the hanged man here. She knows that her divine masculine is her destiny, yet she knows if she has to, she knows her value and her worth. She's willing to cut him loose. She's willing to look at other prospects. She's changing her focus from her masculine to herself. And in the process, she's opening her heart for, you know, you know, a lot of feminines had in this group had recognized as they wouldn't take their eyes off their masculine. They had the idea of it's my masculine or no one. But they're getting to the point where they value themselves and they know that how worthy of love that they are. Then they pull back their energy. And in so doing that, they also open themselves up for love to come in. Look at this. If you look at it this way, 
this offering of this beautiful pink, beautiful pink, loving, romantic gesture type of roses that's being offered. So she's opening herself up for being receptive to love, even if that means looking at it from someone else's perspective, looking at, you know, not changing her focus is what I'm trying to say from her masculine to possibly a soulmate. So, wow. So I think a lot of feminines are actually pulling their energies back at this time. You know, and this is what has shifted the masculines. Let's pull some of these, um, the vampire deck, this twin flame vampire deck, just so we can get a, see what's in the feminine headspace in regards to her masculine. is this feminine those in this energy what is going on in their heads in regards to their masculine in their head space okay bottom of the deck i'm in a ruthless phase yes yes amen sister in a ruthless phase, not wanting to take any more shit, no more wanting to be put on the back burner. She is ruthless because she has realized her power. She's realized her divinity and her sovereignty. I feel a shift between us. I <laughs> wonder if that's because she made it. One taste is all it took. She knows you want her. She knows the masculine wants her. She wants him too, but she's tired of the shit. I want to know what you're thinking. Let me in. Yeah, she's tired of the masculine blocking her out. She wants him to let her in. You know, he's not willing to let her in. Then she's going to have to pull a queen of swords. We have your love is the cure. But what I'm hearing is love is the cure, but you've got to let her in so that way, you know, the masculine has to let her in so that way he can be healed. And so that love can heal this, this rift between you. You've got to have some courage, masculine. You know, there's a lot of masculines who have um, commitment issues, and and it, it seems like that's always on the twin flame journey, that there's a masculine energy with commitment issues, and not wanting to, you know, or the strong, silent type that don't really want to let his feminine in. So what is the, in the Divine Feminine's heart space, what is she feeling for her masculine? She has some strong energy right there in her head space, but let's see what's in her heart space. What is she feeling for her masculine? I'm taking all those. Bottom of the deck, King of Shells, the visionary. The King of Shells is the King of Cups, the King of Water. And um, the thing about the King of Cups is that um, it, it's like this: these feminines have learned to king the, the F up. And what I mean by that is they've learned to no longer allow their heart and their emotions to rule them. They have gained, 
control over their emotions. We have the three of wings, sorrow. The four of roses, respect. The king of wings, the professional. Two of gems, change. Princess of roses, the adventurer. So in their heart space, what they feel for their masculine is, you know, they're, they're disappointed because he's had this attitude of, it's going to be my way. He's going to control the whole situation. You know, he has controlled the whole energy and the whole, you know, it's like she's been giving, 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 and he's controlled the whole thing. Um, she does have respect, respect for him, but still in her heart space, because this is the four of roses, which is the, the four of wands, she still wants that union in her heart, in her mind. She still wants it, but she's still at the same time. She's like, well, if he's not going to give into it, if he's not willing to change, if he's not willing to change his mind, if he's not willing to you know, compromise with me, to sacrifice with me, then it's time for me to take a hike and go on an adventure of my own. You know, maybe, maybe find my new happiness, that happiness with myself and in the process, finding some freedom. She has that passion for her masculine in her heart. She, she's very passionate. She still loves him. She still wants him, but he's got you know, she has this deep love for him. And it's evolved to something magnificent and beautiful. But at the same time, his decisions have dis disappointed her greatly. And she's shed a lot of tears. And she's, she's, she's still trying to forgive that. So, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated. And until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.